Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, me hearties. Ha <laughs> Let's go and see what Granny Murray's got in her shelves. That's the way. Oh, my God. Boo! He can find the pirate treasure. It's oh, there. Oh. Where is it, Megan? Oh. I found me pirate treasure. <laughs> well done. Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Samson, yes, with Dr. Juno. Hello there. <laughs> Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. Samson could be the pirate's dog and Claude could be the pirate king. Can you dress him up, my darlings? And we can have a seat on the pirate ship. Oh, where's that? Over here, me hearty, but watch. The seas are rough today. Ha, ha, ha. So, what's this about pirates then? Well, you know Chuck's nephew, Brian? He's having a pirate party today. And we're all invited. Oh, I bet the children are really looking forward to it. Oh, oh, so am I. It's a lovely feeling being excited about something, isn't it? Do you know what? When I was little, my mum used to say, don't get so excited. But I couldn't help it. I love that bubbly feeling you get inside when something great's about to happen. Oh, I know what you mean. You must never take the fun out of excitement. That's what I always say. Oh, look at your lot. They're having fun. Oh. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, Claudia. Oh, Claude, you look like a real pirate king. Well done. Well, it's a shame we can't go to the pirate party with you. I wish I was going. But I've got to get to work. Oh, well, thank you, Megan. I'll wear this at work. I'm sure they haven't seen a pirate around the hospital before. <laughs> Bye, Samson. <laughs> Come on, me hearty. Now remember, you must never take the fun out of excitement. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell Song, pedaling my way as I cycle along. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my cycling time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? OK, left, to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my work clothes on. All dressed and ready to go. Morning, Dr. Juno. Dr. Juno. Aha! Shiver me timbers, me lad. Is that pirate work you brought me? Huh? Bring in here, me hearty. We have lots to do before we set sail. Aha! You, you seem a bit overexcited today, Dr. Juno. 
<laughs> yes, I am. It's fun. Oh, I hope Samson's having fun today. He's gone to the park. He's got a pirate party. <laughs> well, I hope he's not as excited as you are in being all piratical with Granny Murray. See you later. <laughs> I wonder how my pirate dog's doing. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Come on, Samson. Right, let's get this pirate party set up, you lot. <laughs> oh, Samson, I wish Dr. Juno was here to share the excitement. Come on, my wee pirates. <laughs> I hope Samson enjoys the party. We've got a bit of a problem, Dr. Juno. Ha-ha! I'd expect nothing less. This be a hospital after all. Yes, well, this way, Captain. You've got injured shipmate. Chuck and Brian, what's going wrong? Oh, hi there. Brian was all dressed up for his pirate party. He was really excited. He got up on the table, he pretended it was a ship, but you fell off, didn't you, Brian? Oh, well, even pirates have to be careful. But, ha ha, you've come to the right place, me hearty. We fixed up lots of pirates in this hospital. Let's have a look at your hand. Well, we better get an x-ray on this arm. It's a special picture that tells us what's gone wrong. I think you should take this pirate to the x-ray department, Burson Henry. I'll roll him there in my little boat, Captain. Oh, there you go. Oh. oh dear, he'd be so sad if he has to miss the party. Oh, don't worry, Chuck. We'll get him there on time. I hope so. Oh well, I think I'd better get on with the rest of my work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there, oh yeah I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heart It says. Oh, let's have a look then. Oh, I thought so. We've got a poorly pirate, I'm afraid. Should we go and see him? Come on. Hello. We're going to have to put a plaster cast on your arm, Brian, to help you get better. Oh no, what about the party? Oh, don't worry. Pirates get special treatment here. We'll soon sort you out. Won't we, Boson Henry? <laughs> no, come with me, shipmate. Oh, and just think, when you go to the park, your friends will be waiting for you. And the pirate dog, too. <sighs> we'll need to keep a piece of pirate cake for our pirate doctor. Hey, Samson. <laughs> Who'd like a cup for their juice? Oh, would you like one? Good would you place. like one, Junior? Would you like a cup? There you are. Granny Murray. Oh, thank you. I wonder if there'll be sausages at the party. Samson loves sausages. Brian's all ready to go, Dr. Juno, but he's not very happy. Oh, dear. Poor Brian. He says he doesn't want to be a pirate anymore. Oh. 
Cheer up, Brian. You're all sorted now. You've got a party to go to. He's been so excited, but now he thinks he won't have much fun with his arm like that. Oh, dear. We just have to do something to bring the fun back, eh? But the party's about to start. We have to leave right now or we'll miss it. Is it that time already? Oh, dear. I was so sure we'd have no trouble sorting Brian out for his party. What's gone wrong? Where did the time go? At 7 o'clock, I dropped Samson off at Granny Murray's. She and the children were playing pirates because they were all going to Brian's pirate party in the park. Granny Murray and I said how lovely it was to be excited about something and the children gave me an eye patch so I could be a pirate doctor. At 8 o'clock, I got to work. Nurse Henry was surprised to find a pirate in the office. He thought I was a bit overexcited, but I thought it was fun. At 11 o'clock, Chuck brought Brian to the hospital. He'd fallen off his table at home and hurt his arm. Nurse Henry and I pretended to be pirates too, and we sent him off in his rowing boat to the x-ray room. At one o'clock, Nurse Henry brought me Brian's x-ray to look at. Brian needed to have his arm put in plaster to help it mend. Chuck was worried that Brian would miss his party, but I said we would sort him out in double quick time. And now it's two o'clock, and it's time for Brian's party to begin but he's not looking forward to it anymore. Now remember, you must never take the fun out of excitement. You must never take the fun out of excitement. Well, if poor Brian had his fun taken away, well, I'm just gonna have to get it back for him, but it'll be a race against time. I've gotta do it, I've gotta do it. I've gotta beat the clock before the chime. I've gotta sort it, I've gotta sort it. I've gotta do the job on time. This job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a short time she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm gonna do it. She's going to do it. I'm gonna, do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. She's going to start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that. Fantastic, just like Captain Hook. Are you feeling better now? Well, off you go to your party then, me hearty. Bye-bye, Dr Juno. Bye, Brian. Have fun. Ah, Long John Silver here. Do you fancy a cup of tea? Oh, I'd love a cup of tea. Right then, but before we go, your crew is waiting to meet you. My crew? Aye. Oh. <gasps> Wait, hey, me hearties! Oh, this is brilliant. We can have our own pirate party while Brian's has his <laughs> at the park. Ooh, I hope Samson's enjoying himself. Arr, arr. You better be heading home soon because your pirate mistress will be coming to collect you. Doctor Juno, come away in. Samson, good to see Samson. you. Hey, good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh. Did he have fun? He was fabulous. Yes. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thanks from me too. I remembered what you said. You must never take the fun out of excitement. It saved the day for Brian. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, 
sharing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, making, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, flying, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a swaggering pirate king. And we were all pirates too because of Brian's party. First we played a great game of hunt the pirate treasure and then Dr Juno came to drop off Samson. I told her about the party and we talked about what fun it is to be really excited about something. Later in the morning, the children and Samson and I went to the park. We pretended that Samson was the pirate's dog. We helped get the party ready before Brian arrived. The table was done up like a pirate ship. It looked fabulous. While that was going on, Dr Juno was looking after Brian at the hospital because he'd hurt his arm. Brian didn't think he was going to have any fun at his party. But when he arrived, he looked fantastic in his special pirate costume. As I always say, you must never take the fun out of excitement. And thanks to Dr Juno, Brian had the best fun at his pirate party. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Ellie. But don't just sit there, my wee treasures. Come on, let's get busy. There's nothing better than a few exercises to get us going in the morning. This side. She got her hands. And one back down. Ten times. Go. One, two, three. Your knees up to your chin. That's it. And right. Oh, you two must be super fit. <laughs> well, we've got Ellie and we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes. It's Raymond with Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> like everyone is as fit as a fiddle in here today. Oh, that's right. I've joined an exercise class and I've been showing the children some of my new exercises. Oh, sound goes to me, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> but now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. Hey, my darlings, why don't you dress Claude up as a keep fit instructor and <laughs> we can jog over to our chairs. Oh, oh, oh. Get those knees up. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed with your keep fit and because you've been working so hard at it, I've selected you to take part in the very special promotion I'm running in the Buffy car today. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Try one of these. Sensational snack crumbles. Ooh, they look tasty. They are delicious and they're so crumbly. <laughs> oh, but before you take Granny Murray, make sure you have something to collect all the crumbs. <laughs> right you are. And when you eat it, eat it very delicately or else the crumbs will go all over the place. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Oh. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> oh, yes, they're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> oh, there's no use. I can't resist. Raymond. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry. But it might be better to always take the advice you give. You're right. Now, I'm going to take the advice I give, and that's to keep fit. So come on, let's jog over to Claude. <laughs> Woo! Oh, ho -ho. Claude, you look so fit. <laughs> oh, doesn't he? Well done, my darlings. Ooh. This is for you. Oh, thanks, Lise. Oh, wow, he looks fit. <laughs> right, big hugs. <laughs> I better get to work. Come on, you. Cheer one out. Now remember, always take the advice you give. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm a 
a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I take a ticket, ticket on the metro. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the train lines. Clatter, clatter, clatter at the points. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter through the streets now. Squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I really, really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we're here. But before I can get down to some work, I have to change. So, busy, busy, busy. All dressed and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the nine o'clock from Riversea Fingal to Drumtown is now departing from Platform 4. And today is the day of my special Snack Crumble promotion. <laughs> Try Snack Crumble, the most delicious, scrumptious snack to be found anywhere. Now, I bet the rush will start any minute. Oh, Dr. Juno! Oh, hi, Raymond. You are my first customer of the day. Am I? Uh -huh. I'm in a bit of a rush. Oh, oh. oh, oh don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you, Raymond. I'm doing a publicity campaign for the Drive for Healthy Eating. Look, it says, if it's a snack, don't take the biscuit, take the fruit. That's a really good piece of advice, Dr Juno. Oh, thank you, Raymond. Oh, I spoke to your management. They said it was all right to hand out some leaflets on the train. Oh, good idea. Maybe you could hand out some leaflets for me. Oh, no probs. I'll just put them next to the display for my snack crumbles. Right, thank you, Raymond. Right, I've got a dash. And why don't you try one of my delicious... Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I wonder how my little Lisa's getting on. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Thing, go River Sea Thing, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Thing, go River Sea Thing, go that's for me. Yee! Remember to hold on to the railing when you go down the stairs, darling. You too, Granny Murray. Oh yes, me too. Your dad would be very proud of how careful we're being. Where is your train now, Daddy? Hello, Raymond. How are you? Oh, hi, Mickey John. Uh, what can I get you? Ah, uh, what have you got? Well, you could take part in the special promotion today I'm running in the Buffy car. Try one of these delicious snack crumbles. Oh, they look good. I'll have one of those. In fact, make it too. They look so tasty. Well, there you go. Oh, and here is a leaflet from Dr. Juno. Oh, right, thank you. If it's a snack, don't take the biscuit. Take the fruit. Oh, that's very good advice, you know, Raymond. Uh, I don't think I'll have these two snack crumbles. I think I'll have a nice piece of fruit instead. Oh, so uh, nice uh, juicy apple for me, please, Raymond. Well, that's, uh, that's 50 pence, please. Thanks, Raymond. See you later. Oh. I suppose I better get on with some hard work. I love my train. I'm so happy being me. Doing all the things I love to do. Chocolate, lemonade or tea. I'm just very happy serving you Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day Making special moments on my way I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day Bringing smiles and happiness my way Being nice is what I love the most Six years time, I'm looking fine Six years old, I'll be on time Hard to crawl and fall behind Don't go what I want in line I'm so happy being me Meeting all the people on the train Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day Wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way I'll do a trick and make the journey quick Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way Loving all the things I do each day Bringing smiles and happiness my way Is this a snack crumble I see before me? No, 
It's a whole pile of them. And we're on our way back to River Sea Fingal. Some of these should have been eaten by now. Hiya, Raymond. Oh, hi, Dr. Juno. How are the leaflets doing? Oh, very well, actually. Oh, they have, haven't they? Mm. Here, have some more. Do-a, 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 do
Maclean leaves River Sea Fingal, take two. This time the special promotion of the day, fruit. <laughs> wow, Raymond, this looks very impressive. My healthy eating campaign must be working. Mm, so what can I get you? Oh, I fancy one of those snack crumbles you had earlier on. Have you got any left? Well, certainly, but would you not be better taking your own advice and having some fruit instead? Oh, these leaflets must be working. OK, I think I'll have a juicy apple. Mm -hmm. You'll be jumping with health. I will. And I'll soon be jumping home to see you in Riversea Fingal, my Lisa. <laughs> oh, I've made some lovely apple crumble for pudding, Lisa. But you'll need to finish up your dinner before you get some. You too, Granny Woody. Oh, you're right, you know. OK, then. <laughs> Daddy will be here to pick you up soon. Where are you, Daddy? Come on, Lisa. Daddy's here. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Yes. Oh, we certainly did, didn't we, darling? What do you say to Granny Murray? Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> and it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Always take the advice you give. It saved the day. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Bye-bye, good darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, Pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a keep fit instructor because I had been teaching the children my keep fit routine. When Raymond arrived with Lisa, he gave me a snack crumble. It was really delicious. Later on, Lisa and I went to town. When we were going down the stairs, she reminded me to hold the handrail like I had told her. After that, I was teaching Lisa how to cross the road and I forgot that I had told her always to hold my hand on the road. Lisa reminded me. At dinner time, Lisa told me I had to eat up all my dinner if I wanted some apple crumble. So I took her advice. When Raymond came to collect Lisa, he told me that he had remembered to always take the advice you give and it saved the day. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs> I love to sip in river sea fingal, river sea fingal pie. I love to sip in river sea fingal, river sea fingal. That's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, the city. where the fairy folk stands the blue. Time to call on Granny Murray.